In this video, we are going to apply mesh analysis technique in a circuit where dependent sources are also present along with independent sources. So problem is this, obtain IA and IB using mesh analysis. So IA and IB are given like this. loop 1 current is IA and loop 2 or mesh 2 current is IB. So it will straight forward. There are two meshes. IA and IB are the mesh current flowing through the resistor phi ohm. IA gives the drop plus minus in this direction for 10 ohm plus minus like this. IB along the IB it will have the drop across phi ohm and 10 ohm. Okay. So circuit is ready for application of KVL. So let's apply KVL to mesh 1. Let's start from here. So if we start from over here, we'll get minus plus is the first drop we are considering, rather a voltage source, minus to plus. So it's a voltage rise plus 5 plus minus minus 5 IA plus minus minus 10 IB remember it is current control voltage source plus minus minus 10 IA and minus plus plus 10 IB plus minus a voltage source minus 5 IA equal to 0. If you see carefully, what I will get over here? Minus 10 IB plus 10 IB getting cancelled. Minus 5 IA minus 10 IA minus 5 IA will give me minus 20 IA. So in the end, I will get the value of I directly. So we can say it's a phi equal to 20 IA and IA will become equal to 5 by 20, nothing but 0 0.25 ampere. So a very straightforward answer we got for I. So let's apply KVL to mesh 2 now. Let's start from here. Plus minus minus 5 IB plus minus minus 10 minus plus plus 5 IA plus minus minus 10 IB and minus plus plus 10 IA equal to 0. So if I simplify this what I will get 5 IA 10 IA will be 15 IA minus 5 IB minus 10 IB minus 15 IB and 10 which is minus 10 on left hand side will go that side becomes plus 10 IA already we have calculated let's substitute so it's a 15 multiplied by 0 0.25 minus 15 IB equal to 10 so after simplifying this, we will get 3.75 minus 10 as 15 IB. I am just simplifying this and finally I will get IB as minus 0 
six, seven, ten pair. So luckily, in this problem, though independent sources are given, but the value on which the sources are dependent are nothing but our own variables, loop current I and I B. Hence, no need to go for any further substitution equation. Simply, we can write the equation and after solving, we will get an answer for I and I B directly. Thank you.